Hello and welcome. Uh, the morning after uh, Altwell win. Welcome to Type CV, Neil yeah, Asia. Uh, yeah, just a review. We actually got a penalty as well, so quite a bit to talk about. Atmosphere at Altwell. Uh, well, again, a lot of things to talk about, and you can just get your thoughts and comments on this as well. So, going into the game, we all knew it was home form, warm, you know, cracking compared to his away form. Not taking all to away from it. Three changes. Um, I think majority of people were asking for uh, changes to be fair, you know, such as like McAtee and I think Styles were, you know, names up there to be them two main ones, which it, it did happen. Looking on the bench after that, it looked a bit, if, in my opinion, a bit lightweight on the attacking front on that. Obviously, Cosgrove is out. With suspension, we um, his bookings at week and the sending off. Got Marsh out on loan. A few were saying uh, Fabio Jallo, he might have had a, a look in. I think even Collins alluded to that at one point when questioned on media. But it started for the under 21s game in the afternoon, so that won't going to happen. So he kind of knew that he wasn't going to start him, but going to be identified as that. Having said that, Got back to what well, bit of weird, bit of a weird build up, I think, as well. Probably a bit rain, damp, it'd been a miserable day, carrying into evening. I mean, I love games at Oakwell under lights, always that bit of buzz, that bit of special atmosphere, but it was a bit of a damp, weird one. Started off pretty decent, I think, in my own opinion, against a very poor Shrewsbury side, if I'm being honest. Didn't really offer much. Fair play to their fans, what travelled up. Midweek game, not not ideal, especially in, like I said, in weather as well. Penalty. That's been at that. Uh, but, yeah, penalty. And I think after that, I think it was pretty comfortable. <clears throat> Again, not the greatest performances by band, but I think we went through the motions. We did them pretty reasonable. Again, conditions on pitch, but again, a bit, but same for both sides. Be one no two. Then for me, we're a matter of when we're going to score a second. Then other says third, which we run out three and all winners. But again, the atmosphere and I, I don't know. I can't put my finger on it. And I've seen some things now come out, and I, 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 you know, I, I kind of go along with it. Is that the overzealousness of sitting down? And being, and you know, I've seen some reports, as, and I heard some as well, some rumblings last night, saying about, you know, if you don't sit down, you're going to, you know, possibly get escorted out, or you're not going to ever see a ticket, and, uh, not a ticket to sit in. Really? Come on. It's gone too over the top, this. But again, there's been, supposed to have been asking for safe seat, uh, safe standing, safe seat, sorry, safe standing areas, designated it. And again, it gets kind of rebuffed. Club will like saying, well, if we need to do that, we need to do this, and we've got to do it for a way end. We've got to do, it. do you really? I don't see any other clubs as such. And again, if there's any fans watching from other clubs, I don't see any, any fans as such really being overzealous on this. It seems to be every other week there's a statement getting put out about the, the standing, persistent standing, and remaining seats and and again it kind of you can't be blaming weather for that even when we're winning three and nil atmosphere it's for me the killing the atmosphere of a club the killing the atmosphere of a club by doing this you know it's always been a passionate game the heat of a moment we all know there's a certain section in ponty end which is the, the vocal element and it gets it going. But you take that away, you, you, you start stifling the, the atmosphere at all well. So again, I don't see has been any issues where it's going to actually warrant the, 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 the measures that the club's putting in place. If you follow all these procedures for EFL and Sage and all that, but again, I don't see the same robustness when you go to other away grounds in League One. It just seems to be Barnsley's at forefront in it all the time to, I don't know, 
I understand it if it's been some trouble there, but Basavo Clermont, but gets fought well buzzing. And I think even Ponche Roaring, maybe even uh, a match day drinkers, but they start to get involved in this. They're trying to create an atmosphere for the, you know, to get all well bouncing, buzzing. And even they express concerns. I saw it on the socials, you know, and quite rightly so. It's all right, this flag waving at the beginning of the match and this other, I get that. But then, for the game, you still need us to get behind the fans, uh, the fans, sorry, to get behind the, the team. How can you do that when you're taking away the, the people that are passionate and do want to get things going? It's got to like work hand in hand. You can't keep coming down all the time and hammering them. That's my set. And again, let me know your thoughts and comments below. Um, it just seems to be that we've got to get oh well to where it is but there be certain limit, limitations in it it's not it's not it's not going to work is it getting back to the game like i said I made some substitutions um well what i'd like to have seen i don't know what your thoughts on this is that with the right wing back situation for me i'd like to have seen you know a pretty comfortable for violence for now I'd like to have seen, instead of bringing Cotter on for O'Keefe at war, I'd like to have seen such as like Shepard come on for one at right wing backs and, and Shufty Williams over to the right wing back position. So you've got like Shepard at back at three to see what it'd have been like in that uh, and to see how, how, how it had gone on. But again, small, you know, small minor detail. I'm not, you know, Elfian League results, some of the results as well went his way, which were pleasing. Um, so again, still in third, climbing in you know to second spot points. But then you look down below, I think like 10 to 11. Again, a couple of wins and there, there up here as well. So again, it's a it's a pretty tight league, and I think it's VFR taking all bar probably Portsmouth. I think Portsmouth are on a on a on a decent run. Oxford, a blip. But again, we need to put pressure on teams around us and oh, they, uh, fall, fall, uh, fall flat. Another game coming up at home on Saturday against Fleetwood and again, no respect to Fleetwood but another winnable game you'd think. Would you make any changes? We'll get onto that into another video for preview on that. Personally, I would say no because you don't change about where winning team but we've seen it before. Any injuries to concern? I haven't seen how picked up. Uh, seen bit another lad, Nathan James, gone out on loan to fans of Celtic as well with Phil Chapman. So we seem to be putting young ones out on loan a bit. Nathan James, yeah, not not, uh, not a problem with that one. Um, again, the young centre back will play his trade, not a problem. Conor McCarthy is going to be knocking on the door soon. I'd say out with Robbie Cundy. Aidan Marsh. Again, on loan at York. I'd like to see him come back. I'd like to see him on bench last night because I think he, he'd have, this would have been a game he'd have probably reveled in. For me, anyway. I think he'd, he'd have come on and I think it'd be his pace on that uh, wet pitch. I think he'd have proved uh, an handful for him. But again, it's what happens in training. Might come back a bit stronger. Who knows? But we've got a win. We got a penalty, three goals, a clean sheet, and we're third. So a lot of a lot of goodness here, a lot of positives. We are we did a job. We did it professionally. Just the atmosphere at well. Let's hope that um you know Stewart can relax a bit on the of the keenness of his illness. Otherwise it's uh, it's not going to go, go down right well with the atmosphere of the club. Again, let me know your thoughts. Midweek under lights, it's a win. We are still in the league, an healthy position, something to build on. Own form, we've got a penalty, let's hope we can build on his own form. Go into Saturday against Fleetwood Town. You'd think another winnable game. Thanks for watching. Have a good rest of your week. Let's up and get to Saturday. Um, another game. Let me know your thoughts, comments below. Please like, subscribe, and share. I know you always do. It's much appreciated. 
and it'd be interesting to see in, you know what what you think about the atmosphere of the, of the ground one thing left to say you words. <laughs>